sure hope it does. Ah, uh, vines. <laughs> Road work ahead. Hey everyone, Ed and I are in Oklahoma and we are here for a five day business, like small business workshop. Like, I thought it was supposed to be warm in Oklahoma. I thought so too. It's just north of Texas. It's so cold here right now. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we are here attending this workshop because we were kind of thrown into owning this business and it has been so much fun, but we don't have any formal education on running businesses. Nope. So we figured this would be a good workshop for us to attend to just help educate ourselves and help the whole business run more smoothly. Yep. So we need management experience. We, in particular, we need management experience. So that's what we're hoping to get out of this along with some other experience too. But yeah, we're in Oklahoma to attend a business workshop. <laughs> Hooray! We made it to Tulsa! Cool! Oh, was that lightning? I think so. I've been seeing some flashes. Oh my gosh! Is this an omen for how this is gonna go? Jeez. Does God not like Tulsa? Alright, we're all checked in. Got our notebooks. We're gonna see what this uh, business workshop is like. Do you want to explain what we did? So this business thing that we're at is making us sit in a class for three hours listening to one-on-one -on -one consultation for their business. Yeah. So we're in the bathroom right now. Yeah, How we're in the bathroom. We're, we're at a bar. <laughs> I can't sit in the classroom for three hours listening to other people's problems. It's 11 hours a day of lectures and listening to people talk about businesses, which is cool, but for 11 hours, we needed a break, yeah. so I don't know when we're gonna go back, but we're in the bathroom we're right, right now. now. All right, so we're supposed to be in there, but I think Emily's sitting over here for some reason. What are you doing? We're supposed to be in class. I need to get out of here. <laughs> this is not for us. Okay. So there happens to be a reptile show in Oklahoma City. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow. Do you just want to go to the reptile show? Yes. Okay, let's do it. We have to sneak out though. They can't catch us. All right, it's the next morning. Yep. Uh, you have more experience escaping school than I do, so I what's the game plan? No here? idea what you're talking about, uh -huh. but I've been thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down and get the car because I'm not the recognizable one on the channel. So I think I can kind of just squeeze through, just put my head down and go. Okay. I'll go get the car, then you give me like three, five minutes, yep. and then you start heading down. You might have to be a little more sneaky, and then you just run out and get in the car and we'll just take off. Okay, sounds great. So okay. you go first? Yes. And I will wait three to five minutes. All right, sounds good. Oh, perfect. That's us, we're that black car. Okay, I just have to get down there without being noticed. You can do this, Emily. You've never skipped school before, but you can do this. I believe in you. Oh, oh, coast is clear. Okay. Move, 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 let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We did it! Yes! Let's go! We did it! Let's go, go, go! Oh my gosh, we did it! Yeah, we were I've, successful. I've got such a rush right now. <laughs> what What was really, like, was there going to be anybody who told us we had to stay at the show? I guess I don't think so. <laughs> but I've never skipped school before. Aren't you supposed to? It's school. You're supposed to go to well, school. don't skip school unless you pay for school, and then you can choose whatever you want to do with that money. There you go, you. kids. Advice from Snake Discovery. Yeah. <laughs> Don't skip school, kids. Let's go to the reptile show. All right, so we have been to a Herps show before. We went to Herps Conroe in Texas. It was awesome. It was a venomous show. It was a venomous show. I don't think this one is venomous, but it's Herps, Oklahoma. So we're finally gonna check it out. Although it's, I think, two degrees outside right two now. Two degrees and snowy. Yeah, yeah so I mean, Ed's in shorts, because we're from, you know, Wisconsin. Yeah. So it's not that big of a deal, but I feel like it's not gonna be very highly attended today. I don't think so either. More room for us. So we got in, in two seconds, the first boot. There's I'm always distracted. Okay, okay. I don't have to go any further into the show because we've got blue beauty rat snakes, tricolor hogs, scaleless corns, and hog noses, including leucistic and lavenders. Oh my gosh! Okay, what is this table? I'm gonna give him a shout out. Simon T. Reptiles. I just got the okay to take some of these out. Oh my gosh. I have never seen this morph before. Okay, I don't wanna like bend your acrylic. Well, yeah, here. 
here's here's your lavender. Oh my gosh. Here's <laughs> here's your toffee, and then there's the common. Yeah, that's what I was putting. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. New morph that I haven't seen before in hog noses. So here is a toffee belly hog, kind of caramely color, really yeah, with pretty. That toffee color on the belly. Yeah, with the toffee belly. Wow, that one looks like paradox almost. It's mm -hmm. got some black speckling. Okay, so that's toffee, and then you've got lavenders here, which you guys all know and love because yep. I know and love them so much. But then we've got the combination of lavender and toffee, which looks like la toffee. Oh, wow. wow, that's gorgeous. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh, what does your belly look like? Wow. Weird, it's like it's in between. Like yeah. That's so, That's so strange. Cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. Well, this is another goal hog nose for us to get in the future. Yep. We can't buy any snakes at this show, unfortunately, because we flew to Oklahoma and it's too cold to ship right now. So I can just love it. I'll be in Minneapolis on the second too. Oh my gosh, would they really? Yeah, so if you want, I'll be up there. Oh no. <laughs> okay, maybe something could work out then. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Tim with Simon T Reptiles, and you specialize in all sorts of species, don't you? A little bit of everything. If it's out there, we have it or I have access to it. So. I mean, on your table, I've seen hog noses and blue beauties, tricolor hogs. Bull uh, snakes. Bull snakes, ball pythons, gargoyle geckos. What are your favorite species to work with? Anything, anything. Really? If, yeah, any reptile and stuff like that. I'll deal with all of it. Nice. Yeah, and we so. figured today we would focus on, since you have several morphs of them, the Colombian rainbow boa. So can you explain these morphs that you breed? Uh, they're just like any other recessive morphs out on any of the other snakes that we deal with. They're recessive snakes, so none of them are codominants. But we have leucistics, we have T-positive, and okay. then we have a patternless, and then the Anri Rainbow, Colombian Rainbow Boa. A lot of people love the Anri because of that iridescence that shines through on them. Yeah, the Anri, or I guess Exanthic and other snakes, yeah, that removes exactly. the red versus, or yellow, yellow yeah. depending on the snake. Mm -hmm. This is a really like muted coloration of the Colombian exactly. Rainbow Boa. Yeah. So now I'm curious, can you combine anery with albino to get a sort of snow with Colombian yeah. rainbows? You can? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I believe there is an albino, a uh, T-negative albino. T-negative, so okay. I believe there is one, yeah. So for anybody wondering, T-positive and T-negative, basically they're both different strains of albinism, right? Mm -hmm. And T-negative exactly. just removes tyrosinase, which is yes. that color, the pigment that gives them black eyes. So if you have a T-positive Colombian rainbow boa, they're still going to have dark eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And exactly. T-negative removes it so they have red eyes. The red eyes, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. So one more thing about this species is, unlike the Brazilian rainbow boas, these are a lot smaller, right? They are about half the size of a Brazilian half? rainbow boa. About, yeah, a little, maybe half to three quarters of them, but about half is what I would say. Okay, so, so yeah. like Brazilian rainbows, would you say they get like six feet? Yes, I have, we okay. have some, the biggest Brazilians that I've seen can eat bigger, large rats and Okay. Stuff, and I would never feed a large rat to any of these. So then max size on a, on a Colombian, what would you say that would be? Five feet, maybe. Okay, yeah, okay. Five, yeah. So yeah, considerably smaller, yeah. which makes them a, a much more manageable size. So I guess if someone's looking to get a rainbow boa but is intimidated by the Brazilian size, a Colombian would be a really good option. Of course, of course. Huh. Plus there's a lot more variety of colors on here too. So. So patternless, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Exactly, yeah, okay. self-explanatory. You probably will be able to get a lot of your different colors if you mix in your T-positive and your patternless, which I've never seen that in there. You can start messing with the colors and the mutations just like any other recessive project out there and start mixing them all. Oh, see, that's my favorite part about hog noses and yes. bull snakes is mixing and matching the different morphs to see what they do with each other. Which is what you showed with the lavenders and the toffee and the lavender yes. toffee earlier and stuff. Yes. So, yeah. so it's just the fun, this whole hobby is based on just messing with genetics and playing it with is, them and it stuff is. like that. It really is, yeah. yeah. It's kind of just a big one big genetics or science lesson mm -hmm. for science nerds. And it's what <laughs> makes the whole thing of cleaning cages all day long worth it. So, Absolutely. So, yeah, so. so if people want to learn more about your snakes and all of the species that you offer, because this is just a few of them, this really. This is a few of them, yeah. yeah. I, I'm on Facebook and Instagram or come to, I do mostly shows around the nation and stuff. Okay. So get a hold of me somehow, somebody somewhere can find me, but nice. just message me, call me up, I'm up all day long. So 2 a.m. I'll answer a text most of the time. So Simon T. Reptiles. Yep. Cool. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.
All right, I'm here with Jason from Amos Reptiles, who specializes in the stranger morph of ball python. So Jason, can you explain what the stranger morph does? Yeah, it's a darker morph. It has kind of a granity look to it. Most of the strangers are either fully striped or have only have a break or two in the stripe, but it's really dark and really different than a normal. So it's not the G-stripe morph. This is a completely morph altogether, to yeah. clarify, even though it does still produce a stripe. Yeah, it still has a stripe. And even on some of the ones that don't have a full stripe, it doesn't have much breaks in the stripe. Wow. And what does the stranger morph do with other morphs that it's like mixed with? It combos well. You can still see the other morphs in it. It doesn't take over the morph totally like some of the other genes do. It but seems like it just enhances whatever morph it's paired with. Yeah, it enhances it. It actually works good with pastel. They're really nice and fully yellow. Oh. Um, they work great with leopard and GHI and the other dark genes. Oh you can actually go different ways with the stranger morph. Wow, how long have you been working with this morph for? We got our first one in 2019, so it's been oh. three or four years now. So this is a relatively new morph yeah. too. Yeah, wow. we had our boy shipped over from Europe. Roland over in Europe started it. Wow, so it originated kind in the States anyway with you. No, I wasn't the first one to have it, but I've, I've done the most with it. Okay, yeah, I mean, you've, you've blended or mixed the stranger morph with all sorts of other morphs here. I think my favorite of which has got to be the stranger banana clown here, because I'm a huge banana clown fan. Yeah. That's probably my favorite morph, but now I think I've got to elevate it to stranger banana clown. Yeah, stranger <laughs> actually started with clown, so a lot of people have clown in it. I was the first one to put it with banana and oh, clown, nice. and it, it really turned out nice. Oh, and what's this guy over here? That's just a plain stranger clown. Stranger clown. It looks like a reticulated python in the face. Yeah. I mean, it just makes the ball python look so much different. It's really powerful and really overpowers the clown of what the clown would just be normally. What's your favorite combo using the stranger morph? Probably the banana stranger clown right okay. now. And nice. The, the stranger hypo clowns are really nice. How long have you been breeding ball pythons for? Um, we had our first clutch in 2009. Okay. So yeah. it's been a little while now. Yeah, you've been in it for a bit. Yeah, we moved from California to Oklahoma last year. And full time at it. Awesome. Well, thank you for the information about the stranger morph. I've seen it floating around, mm -hmm. but I never quite understood what it was. Yeah. So this will help clarify. It's kind of a weird name. It popped out unexpectedly and okay. he thought some strange dark babies he hatched and he didn't know what they were. So that's kind of the name stuck from that. The babies just looked strange. Yeah. So he named it the stranger morph. He wasn't morph. expecting the strange dark ones that he got. So That is awesome. Well, if people want to learn more about your ball pythons, where can they go? They can go to my Instagram or my Facebook at Amos Reptiles. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you. All right. We made it back. We're back. Yes. In our we, little hotel room. Our little hotel. We snuck back into the building after <laughs> the show. And we got met with like five people who were like, where were you? Yeah, we kind of feel bad because we didn't tell them where we went. But everybody's, if you're... Everybody's fine. If you're watching this, we went to the reptile show today. Yeah. Anyway. Also, um, everybody in the class was amazing. Yes. So like, in case you're wondering about this whole business class thing and why we went and why we left, we went in thinking it was for all business owners. And when we got here, the reality is really it's for people who have a product and they haven't yet launched or they just launched their business. So it didn't really apply to our business because we've been in business for a while, but that's okay. We got to go to the Tulsa Zoo, which is in the other vlog. And we the went to show. reptile show. So many fun things. And happened. we got to meet a ton of amazing people here. Yes. Like, the other classmates of this workshop are fantastic. Fantastic Every people. single one of them was Such an nice amazing people. person to talk yes, to. Yes, so many great learn their businesses. businesses. Yes. yes, it was still fun meeting so many people in the classes, even though we ended up taking off and kind of doing our own <laughs> our own thing. I mean, anyway, yeah. we didn't tell any of you guys that we were going to be at the Oklahoma Herps show uh, because it was kind of a last minute decision, but we did post it on Patreon. So the only people knew we were going to be there today were our Patreon backers. And Katie brought a gift bag for us at the show, who was one of our Patreon backers, so I'm gonna read her letter in a second, but I wanted to open this all together yeah, with you. Yeah, she said she got us a bunch of Oklahoma stuff, Yeah, right? Katie, this was so nice of you. You brought this to the show for us. Can we get any oh half-price books? Gosh, half-price books, yes. It must have all come from half-price books. Yeah. Look at that. Well, there's Zots in here. Those you, are great. You love Zots. Oh, yep. Sour gummies, oh. 
Ooh, fancy gummy bear gummies. Ooh. Oh my gosh, and there's Earl Grey tea in here. Nice. <gasps> and coffee, I can't wait to try that. What is this? Is there an alligator on there? On here? No, it's a... No, it's a duck. <laughs> oh, okay. It They're... looked like an alligator. Yeah. They're essentially the same thing. Yeah. Espresso beans, oh my gosh, chocolate bars. Ooh, chocolate caramel bars. Wow. Okay, Katie, this is really nice of you. Thank you very much for the goodies. I can't wait to try all of these. I mean, a lot of these are going to be road she, trips She next. told me that these are mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get the chocolate. She mentioned that. She's like, the chocolate is Emily's. I get all the chocolate. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We also were given by the photographer this beautiful framed picture from Michael Bonanza of a bison. Yeah. He asked if it was our first time in Oklahoma. We said, really our first time actually spending time in the state, not just driving through. And he gave us this off his yeah. table. That was Apparently a nice Apparently bison one. are big here. Apparently, we keep seeing bison statues everywhere. Which is also crazy because they're big in Wisconsin too. We have a lot of bison farms. Yeah, you're so, right. But I think Oklahoma takes the cake. They seem to like and I think they're not just farmed here. Oh, they're wild here? I think they might be wild. Oh, here. that would make sense. Okay. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video and exploring the Herps Oklahoma City uh, show. And Ed is now watching TV because the football game is I on. I didn't turn it back on. I put it on the menu and it came back on automatically, which means I think we should wrap this up so I can Yep, football's back on, so I guess we're wrapping this up. Yeah, I got to see my Packers win. Yep. Now I want to see if the Lions are going to pull this off. Uh, by the looks of it, your Lions are winning. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, we'll thank see. you Patreon backers for your recommendations on where to go. Thank you Katie for your gifts. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time. You gonna try the gummies? Oh. oh. Which ones? Oh, those ones. They're the Bedre gummy bears. Let's see. What do you we think? We should probably mute this so we don't get canceled by NFL. <laughs> They Ooh, they're pretty good. Are they? They're not as good as the one in... The Albanese? Yes, Albanese. But here, oh, I'll give you a try. Really? They're really okay. good. Okay. Bed tray. Ooh, those are good. I would have to have them side by side with Albanese to determine which one's better. Albanese is a little bit softer, so if you like softer gummy bears, Albanese mm. tastes okay. There you go.